So in this video I'm going to go through the process of setting up a convoy in the Men of War gem editor. So this is a, a very common question I'm asked in, in my Men of War videos. I'm consistently receiving messages about this. So I just thought I'd address it. So here we go. So I've, I've selected a random map. This is actually Condemned Heroes, so I've selected a random map. I just need to set the environment, the sky, because I can't work with that black, black sky. I need to have an actual cloud environment set up. And that's actually a little tip for fellow Men of War video creators. When you, when you create these videos, just press F6 and select a backdrop. Select a sky backdrop, because your videos look so much nicer when you do that. And there's so many people that don't do it, and their videos just don't look as good, in my opinion. So anyway, moving on. So I've got a little bit of terrain here, and I want to move my vehicles up that main road, and I want them to turn left at the railway crossing. So what I don't want is for them to just cut through the, the trees, and that's that's the question that people have, is how do you prevent that? So first things first, let's, let's put down some tanks, so just some KV, KV2s. Let's just put them down. Let's just press Z to rotate them so they're facing the direction I want them to face in. And there we go. So I've got two tanks, that's all I really need. So I need to man those tanks now, so I'm just going to select some crew and roll them down onto the onto the map there. In games like Operation Flashpoint or it's now known as Armour. The editor in that, for example, the AI will intelligently work out that it needs to stay on a road if you set them to a waypoint. That doesn't work in, in the gem editor for Men of War, so that's why you have to go through this process. I'm gonna gonna show you. So I'm just putting these vi these men in these tanks, and I, I just you just hit F1 mode and move them in manually. I'm not aware of any other method, but that's that's a good enough method. And what we want to do is, first things first, and the, the gem editor video I, I did, well, a few years ago now, in 2011, I think it was, covers all of this, so if you've not seen it, I recommend it. But to set a waypoint, this is the process you have to follow. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select, a, you have to create a squad. So, I'm screwing this up a little bit, but basically the, when you create a squad, you want to highlight the units that you want to be in that squad. So I'm going to give the squad a name, Tanks, and as you can see it's not done what I've wanted there because it didn't select the vehicles. So I'm going to have to select them manually one by one. Not quite sure what's going on there. I think the Condemned Hero Heroes editor just seems a little bit slight, just a little bit different to the Assault Squad one. I think actually it's a little buggy if I'm honest, but I may just be mistaken. Just the highlight, the highlighting just seems a little bit off. So here we go, I've selected both tanks and I've had to resort to doing that in F1 mode. And there we go, KV2, KV2 as the unit. So there, we've got a we've got a nice nice setup there. We've created a waypoint. And we, we have to now create a trigger. So here we go. And I'm, I always call the trigger the name of the way, the squad I'm going to use. So I'm not really go, I don't really want to go into detail about this. If you don't know the process for sending waypoints, then just see my previous video from 2011 because I, I explain it in a much more germane fashion, shall we say. So we've got our waypoint and we've set the trigger for the waypoint and off we have the tanks there, off they go to their waypoint, waypoint zero which is what we expect but we don't want that because as you can see they cut through the trees and they didn't use the road and our aim is to get them to use the road so it's an intuitive leap in the editor and a lot of people I don't, I don't I, I'm, it's, it's not an obvious thing you do but once you've seen it, it's obvious, and you're like, oh, of course, that's obviously the way you do it. But for the benefit of doubt, let's just show people how it's done so you can do it in your videos. So, here's how it's done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move that waypoint we've put down. We don't want to make that the final destination. We want to make it the start of the road. And look, all we need to do is put down more waypoints. So I'm putting them down. It automatically numbers them. 
So you've got waypoint 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And you have to manually define the route that they take based on the waypoint positions. And that's it. So now I've initiated the, the mission. My tanks are rolling forwards. They never quite move in, in a perfect sort of single file line. But the, the important point is, is that they do follow the waypoints and they turn and it kind of roughly roughly kind of gives the impression that they're actually trying to stick to the rows and that's all you really want them to do some sometimes they cut through houses though like we've just seen there with that the kv2 at the back so it's it's as simple as that so it's just a case of putting down more than one waypoint putting down multiple waypoints and don't be afraid to put down as many as you like i mean there's a battle i did once a few years ago i think it was the one i did called Oh, I, I can't, you know, I can't remember what it was. Clash of, Clash of Powers? No, I don't know. But I put down around 50 waypoints anyway to get them to move to their position. So there you go. KV-2s are home and dry. And that's how you create convoys that follow roads.